understand the true implication. Wait, what is up, paid. everybody? In this one, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a video review. It's my first time doing this, so cut me a little slack. Let's Wait, do this. Paid. It's all about one who does not understand the Let's true go. implications of this act may find himself overwhelmed by his powers. Yet this holy practice has a special place in every. And if you guys actually do like this and want to see more of this, just comment down in the comment section below. I'm going to smoke. I'm going to watch a video. I'm going to give some commentary. We're going to move on. We're going to make more videos like this, maybe Wait, with some different paid. content. Let's One go. One who does not understand the true implications of this act may find himself overwhelmed by his powers. Yet this holy practice has a special place in every stoner's heart, for it can only be truly enjoyed if one forfeits his entire life energy and hopes to receive the blessing of the Zah gods. For if one does not concede to the Zah, I will be consumed by it. I have witnessed one too many proud, ignorant soldiers underestimate the wake and bake and end up overwhelmed by its magic force. But if you're confused by my holy transcript, I'll put it in terms you might understand better. It's not a wake and bake if you don't fucking wake up. Who's be out here talking about, ooh, I love waking and baking. It makes my whole day so much less stressful. It yeah, does. of course it does, Dingle Bob. If all you do after is watch TikTok or your Uber Eats, fill your belly to the brim and take a free hour nap. But some of us still disrespect the I'm holy practice by literally doing nothing with the extravagant mega high of the wake and bake. And yes, no matter what science says, I'm here to tell you getting high as soon as you wake up is a lot stronger and different than getting high, let's say, in the evening. And my theory is that right after waking up, your body and brain are not functioning at full capacity yet and are weak against foreign substance attacks like THC. So when you inhale that beautiful Mary Jane right after waking up, your body's defense systems are down, leading to more of the THC slipping through to your brain, therefore getting suited as fuck. And since design nothing but an amplifier of your senses, feelings and thoughts since waking up is hard to begin with because i don't know about you but i personally gotta recite every damn inspirational rocky balboa quote to muster up the strength to get up in the morning if you're high that shit is like 10 times harder and that's proven by most of these mofos who claim they like waking and baking dudes get high and just stare at the wall and watch the day go by like there really are levels to this shit and since your boy waked and baked every single day for a whole summer i have gone through all of them and am qualified to tell you it starts at level one the couch potato. This is that yeah. you're probably gonna be in for the first couple of times yeah. you get high right in the morning. And it ain't nothing to be ashamed of because those first times are like a learning experience. Once the baking is planned, when you go to sleep, it'll have you all excited like, oh boy, can't wait to get high as soon as I wake up and go on an adventure. But when the time comes and you smoke that exotic, you soon realize that this shit hits different. Not only are you baked out of your mind, you also feel like your eyelids have 10 pound weights on them. But even so, you will try your best to go on that high adventure you have been hyping up. But unfortunately, the most you can do is gather the strength to go to the kitchen and make a sandwich. Which after, you'll probably take that right back to your room, put on some Netflix or some, watch it for a couple minutes and realize... Uh, I'm not leaving this bed anytime soon, am I? And boom, you either fall asleep or lie in your bed watching Netflix like the potato you are for the whole high. But if you're like me and don't accept that as a successful and fun wake and bake, you'll do it again some other day. And this time, you're better educated on the powers of the morning za, which will lead you to level two. The powers I of the morning za. Persevere. This time, you know what to expect and have mentally prepared for the tiredness and overall lack of motivation to do stuff by the wake and bake. So just like before, you decide to try the holy practice, but this time decide to brush your teeth and maybe take a shower before the bake. Just because you know one of the hardest parts about getting up in the morning is the fact you can't just stand up and start your day. You gotta do your morning routine first. After all that, you're finally ready to hit your B-O-N-G. And my favorite B-O-N-G, especially for a wake and bake has to be the Gleeb. And if you don't already know, the Gleeb is a discrete portable gravity bong that kicks a lot harder than your typical plastic grab. And because of this, I usually don't get as sleepy after hitting it. There's just something about the power of gravity that makes me want to actually do stuff and not just lay on my bed. But you better be prepared, because this thing will get you higher than you've ever been in your life, bro. So be careful not to green out. And if you use my code CBD, bro, you'll get 15% off your purchase. So click the link in the description or pin comment and check it out anyway now that you've completed the wake and bake and we're smart enough to do a Don't bit do of your that. morning routine first the 10 pound weights that were attached to your eyelids previously have now lightened up to about mm, four pound weights and although every fiber of your being is still telling you to go lie down you fight through and attempt to start your day with something lightly productive like going to the store or cleaning your room and if you do end up going to the store like i did well i'm sorry to tell you but 
it's a trap. Because you will most likely find yourself admiring every food item your eyeballs gaze upon. And we all know when the munchies hit, well, you either rise to the occasion or you have a bad trip. Hey, I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. So you go back home, do your best impression of Nicocado Avocado, and find yourself watching YouTube or Netflix on your wretched bed again. Good try, but not quite the wake and bake epic adventure you were hoping right. for. But this right. time, you swear on your mama. Well, better not do that. But anyway, you swear that next time you will have an awesome wake and bake, which will lead you to level three. It's not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. You've had enough of this BS. You're done folding to the power of the za and being that 1990s generic movie stoner who smokes grass, plays video games, and eats Doritos all day. So now, you do what you did previously, but instead of going to your local Wonderland 7-Eleven, you instead go to the gym or just do something productive that doesn't involve binge-watching the new One Piece Netflix series. But Although this level is in reality quite subjective. It all depends on what your idea of a success successful wake and bake is for me i'm happy with my wake and bake if after the high dissipates and reality starts to shape back in i don't feel all hazy and sad from the fact that i did a wake and bake this also means sometimes it's okay to hit that mary jane immediately after waking and just playing video games the entire time if you plan a day like that ahead and enter the morning with no desire to do anything but lay on your couch and eat 50 percent off birthday cakes you got from the discount aisle at walmart then that's fine one of my funnest and favorite high memories no, came from a wake and bake with riz x where it Immediately after waking, we spontaneously decided to get faded. And after that, we were a bit bored, so we decided to look at how much money we had in our bank balance. And, well, things weren't looking too good. But we were able to scrape together $200 and went on Facebook Marketplace to search for fun items for the high mind. And, oh boy, we sure did strike gold because we found this guy selling an Xbox Series S with two controllers close to our area. So we pulled up, acquired the box, found a free trial for Xbox Game Pass, and played a bunch of split-screen games and ate McNuggets it's all goddamn day which That's in my book day. has got to be a successful wake and bake but it would have been an awful one if we hadn't planned ahead and occupied the day schedule with only two things in mind smoke grass and have fun but one thing I will say about the holy practice known as the wake and bake is that it's best enjoyed as a special occasion. And that's because them shits absolutely demolish your tolerance. And I speak from experience. We went from a bag lasting one week to one day and three days of waking and baking. Yeah. Like, I don't know exactly why, but yeah. that shit sure isn't sustainable financially nor productivity wise. It also has to do with the fact when you wake and bake, you usually smoke throughout the whole day. But when you smoke up after a long and productive day of grinding you only do so once or twice before you get tired and go to bed giving your body ample time to recover from the thc think about it like this if you wake and bake and then smoke throughout the day that ganja is constantly building up so your body never really has time to digest that thc through your system but if you smoke only every 24 hours or so you're giving your body time to recover and remove the za from your brain making it so you don't have to smoke a whole spliff just to feel a little bit high but she i'm not a scientist so all this stuff might be bs but i don't know it yeah. kind of makes sense doesn't it, does it? but sense. anyway if you're trying to get faded with me and other like-minded people make sure you join the discord and pull up to the smoke session that's happening so i'm gonna say a lot of the stuff he said was definitely a person by person case but also a lot that he said in the beginning was very true the first three levels, those first three levels are 100% true. And it's just crazy how he really did capture it. If you get blasted in the morning, you go to the store, you're just going to be staring there. I remember one time my mom sent me to the store. She didn't even know I was doing that yet. I was doing that. She sent me to the store. I was there for an hour and a half to get like two things. And the store was like a block away. Yo, she was looking at me like I was crazy. I don't know. Maybe she knew. Maybe she didn't. But she ain't say nothing. But... Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. I hope you like this. If you do, let me know in the comments. We will do more of this. Let's make sure you tell your mama about me, your friends about me, your everybody you know about me, your cousin about me. Let's make this channel grow. Let's get it.